How's everybody doing? Yeah. Good, good, good. It's uh, it's May. It's May. The year's almost over. I'm still sticking, trying to stick with my New Year's resolution. Anybody else? Am I the only, I'm the only one? Look, I'm still trying to like. I told myself this year I was going to try to read more. Uh, I was going to learn more things. Like I want to learn a new language. Uh, I was thinking about learning Latin. Uh, yeah, I'm, look, I'm Mexican. I think it would be an important part of my heritage to learn Latin. Like a lot of my cousins are Latin uh, kings. <laughs> kings, yeah. I can learn about their trips uh, to Cook County Jail. I can learn about that. So, yeah, those are interesting trips. Um, actually, speaking of my cousins, let's talk about Mexican women for a second. Let's do that. Uh, yeah, yeah. Let's talk about. Did you guys know Mexican women very artistic? Did you guys know that? No, that's fine. You're racist. Um, <laughs> doesn't matter. No, but Mexican women are very artistic. Like the Mexican women in my family, uh, very artistic, but it's more like an abstract art. Yeah, yeah, like a Picasso or a Pollock. It's, it's abstract because I know they're trying to draw uh, eyebrows. <laughs> Do not look like eyebrows. Yeah, they're scary cholas. That's why we went to county. That's <laughs> those are my cousins. Those are my cousins. Actually, speaking of my family, I don't know if you ever find out something kind of crazy about a sibling. Uh, just found out the other day, uh, my sister found something out crazy. My, found out my sister likes to go uh, balls deep, guys. Yeah. yeah well, <laughs> this is the I walked in on her. I caught her in the act. Caught her. Yeah. I walked in her going balls deep. Was, so, yeah, man, it was tough for me. So that is definitely the last time that I take her uh, to Chuck E. Cheese. I mean, <laughs> she was going... <laughs> Balls deep. Uh, who? Anybody? Uh, who's married? Where are the married couples at? Anybody? Just you. Okay. All right. Just you two guys. Just, just you two. He's right here. He's right here. He's right. He got it. He, okay. All right. You, okay. You're watching each other, obviously. I'm not gonna. For, okay. No. <laughs> you Puerto Rican? Okay. I was about to say. So, like, <laughs> boy. All right. Uh, what was I talking about? I forgot. Oh, married couples, Mary, 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 I got distracted. Uh, that was earlier. <laughs> that was earlier. That was my sister. I mean, okay, that's kind of weird. <laughs> the hell am I saying? Uh, I'm not married. Look, I'm thinking about getting. I'm thinking about taking a plunge. I'm thinking about getting married. I'm thinking about proposing to my girlfriend. But the problem I found is uh, they say the ring is supposed to be three months' salary. Have you guys heard that? Three months. Sal- yeah, three. Look, and I can't afford that. That's a lot of money for me. Yeah, exactly. That's a lot of money for me. But I figured it out. Look, I got a solution, guys. Uh, this is what I do. I will quit my job. Right. <laughs> Yes, I'll quit my job. <laughs> Look, listen, I'll be unemployed. I'll be unemployed for three months, partially to save money in the ring, mostly, though, because I hate my girlfriend. <laughs> I really hate people that don't exist. I just <laughs> get on <at> my nerves. <laughs> oh, wow. Um, but I'm trying to date. I'm trying to date. Like, I, I've been messing with the dating website. There's a lot out there, like Plenty of Fish, Match.com, Tinder, all that stuff. Uh, pl- yeah, playing for you. Find some girls on there, but um, but some of them get kind of more specific, like uh, like oh, J date. Uh, that's for the Jews. I saw that one. Pretty sure. Uh, farmers only. Uh, pretty sure that one's for farmers. I'm not sure. <laughs> I found another one. It was pretty specific. It was pretty specific. I was on it the other day. It was a uh, it was called ChristianDating.com. Yeah, ChristianDating.com. I was on that site the other day, and I was like, this is very specific, because I yeah, I never realized there were so many people out there who only want to date uh, guys named Christian. That's pretty. <laughs> Pretty specific, yeah, that's kind of like. Anyways, I was, uh, me and my friend were out the other day. We were, we were eating, and he asked me, he's like, hey, Giovanni, uh, why are we here? And I was like, whoa, whoa, that is a deep question. I was like, why are we here? Uh, and I was like, you know what, I don't know about you, but I'm here because my dad uh, doesn't like pulling out. <laughs> Mexican, yeah. <laughs> and my mom can't say no to a tequila sunrise and a ponytail, so that's why. <laughs> that's why I'm here. That's why I'm here. But um, you guys heard the, the phrase, give a man a fish, eats for a day. Teach a man to fish, uh, eats for a lifetime. You heard about that one? I was thinking about that one the other day. I was like, man, how would this apply to my dad, right? Uh, give my dad a fish uh, filet from McDonald's, right? <laughs> yeah, because if you teach that man to fish, he's going to go out fishing out without a license and get a DUI in the lake again. So <laughs> Lobo, Lobo. Yeah, I, I travel a lot. I live out in Waukegan. Has anybody ever been out there before? A little brown white man. Um, <laughs> I live in Waukegan. It's a, I don't like it. I drive a lot. I drive a lot. And then, um, what the hell? Hold on. That reminded me of a different joke. Hold on a second. I live in Waukegan. Forgot what I was going to say. All right. Oh, okay. I was driving up here. I was driving the other. I was driving up here, and I got a phone call. 
and the car drops, right? And I was like, all right, I must be driving through a dead zone. But then I looked at my phone, and I, lo- I saw who called me. Uh, it was my dad. I was like, you know what? I'm not driving through a dead zone, right? I'm just driving through a dead to me zone, right? Because <laughs> that guy is dead to me ever since he got deported, you know? <laughs> I'm not paying extra for those, for those cars from Mexico. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> um, let me uh, let me get to know you guys for a second here. Let me get to know you. Who here is into uh, butt sex? Anybody? <laughs> me neither. Me neither. Look, I just had butt sex the other week. Uh, actually, it was pretty painful. Not what I expected. Pretty painful. Pretty. Pa- Look, I don't know if you guys know uh, what butt sex is, but butt sex is when you go out, right, with a girl, uh, and you guys have everything uh, but sex, right? <laughs> <laughs> pretty painful. Pretty painful. <laughs> Yeah, especially it hurts, hurts when you reach your wallet, pay for the movies, dinner, everything. But sex, guys, it just <laughs> it just hurts so much. It just hurts so much, guys. Uh, I started I started drinking craft beer. I don't know any fans of craft beer in here. Any? Okay, a few fans, a few fans. I started drinking, but you got to be careful when you drink craft beer. You got to be careful because sometimes the beer could be too crafty. Yeah, it could be too. Like I was drinking this other this. Uh, beer the other day. It was too crafty. It was so crafty that it uh, stole my wallet and had me join a pyramid scheme, guys. <laughs> so see me after the show. I'll be selling Herbalife and rap. So if you want to <laughs> come see me. Come see. Actually, I was thinking about this. I wonder, uh, I was thinking about the pyramids. Uh, I wonder if the guys who built the first pyramids, if they had trouble selling their idea to the investors, right? Yeah, think about it. I was, I was like, they're like, okay, guys, I want to build these pyramids, put them in the desert, uh, you know, dedicate them to the pharaohs or something. Just need a little bit of a startup capital. Need some cash, right? Uh, yeah, the investors were probably like, uh, really, Fahid? Really? <laughs> Fahid, you really think we're going to fall for another one of your pyramid schemes? Like, <laughs> I don't think so, Fahid. I don't think so. That's an old one. Uh, I, was, uh, I, I am trying to eat better. I'm, who's gluten-free? Some of you were nobody, right? Oh, that's good. That's good. You guys care about yourselves. Oh, um, I, I tried out the gluten-free thing. I tried the gluten-free thing out the other day. Uh, yeah, I went to the uh, I went to the store uh, and I stole a loaf of bread. <laughs> so you could say that gluten was free, <laughs> <laughs> right? Is it, that was pretty dumb. That was pretty dumb. But um, what I want to finish with. I drive a lot. Like I said, I drive a lot. Like uh, I'm a pretty bad driver. Any any other bad drivers in here? Any? None. Just me. I don't believe that for a second. Just me. Get out of here. Okay. Look, th- like for the first time I took my driver's license test, I failed it, guys. I failed it. Yeah, I was going five over in the school zone. I was going five over. And the instructor looked at me. He's like, Giovanni, what are you doing? You're taking your test. Why are you speeding in the school zone? And I told him, look, uh, legally, I can't be this close to a school zone. <laughs> so I had to get out of here as soon as possible. <laughs> look, I can slow down and get a good look, but I'm not trying to go to jail again, okay? <laughs> All right. My name is Giovanni Diaz. Thank you very much for your time. <laughs>